Mm-hmm. What's up, baby, baby? Welcome back to my channel. If you're coming back to my channel, I should say, welcome back. Thanks for coming, appreciate you being here. If this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. If you're not aware, my name is Joseph Morrison, AKA Cole Joe Locks. This is a lock channel where we discuss lock content. And if you're wondering what I'm holding, it's my new water bottle. Uh, if you've been paying attention to the channel, you know water is very important. And before I get into it, I gotta... You know what it is? It's just nice. Anyway, this is a lock channel where we discuss lock content. So if you're interested in that, for sure, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, if you like the video, wait till the video is done before you decide if you want to like it or not. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So I know you saw the thumbnail. So this is my five month lock update. So your boy's been locked for five months. I got my five month starter locks here, you know. And today what we're gonna do is just basically give you a look at the locks, kind of like I've done with my four month video, my three month video, um, let you know a little bit of what's going on with the locks, give you a little bit of an update on that as I kind of show you the full 360. And then we'll sit back and we'll chat a little bit more about some of the things that I've changed in my routine and some of the things that I've kind of been going through mentally, emotionally at this stage in the game. Um, it even feels funny saying at this stage in the game because I know a lot of people are like six years down their back just being like, bro, you're a baby. So let's go on over to the corner. If you're uh, new to the channel, we go to the corner when we uh, look at locks. If you've been here for a while, you know the deal. So let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Over to the corner, baby. Alright. So, here we are. Alright, so, this is what it is. This is five months locked. I guess one thing I wanted to get across to you all is, you know, when we start the starter lock process, we obviously envision our locks matured, and we see locks that we like, and that we want our locks to look like. But as you're going through that starter lock process, one thing you need to embrace and understand is that most of that starter lock process, if not, well, yeah, most of it is spent looking not the way you ideally want it to look in the end. So for example, like frizzing, for example, like look at the front, frizzing like crazy, right? Like there's just frizzing literally everywhere. So right now I'm between uh, retightening. So I'm about a month, like a month ago I got a retightening, I'm gonna get one done uh, in another month. So right now I'm between retightening, so this is probably the frizziest it's going to look. And again, this is just a part of the process, you know? And I think the idea that we're trying to get rid of frizzing or like, what can I do to stop frizzing? It's like, it's a part of the process that your hair kind of has to go through if you really want it to be a natural process for yourself, right? So this is pretty much it. Like nothing pretty, nothing crazy different from my last uh, lock update video, which was my four month lock update video, which I'll post if you haven't seen that. But um, I guess a couple changes I've noticed between from four months to now is not much, but really just the buds. I don't know if you can, you probably can't see them, but the buds are just getting a little bit tighter. I'm noticing, especially in the back, um, there's some buds back here that I, honestly, you probably won't even see very well. One, because my hair is short, and two, because there's so much frizzing. But there's some of the buds, like especially this one, that's just like super, super hard, which is kind of giving me an idea of what it's gonna be like when it does mature. So, but other than that, honestly, the hair just feels like it's getting a little bit tighter. Like I can feel the hair starting to really knot up and things like that, but not a significant amount of difference this month and it's just the waiting game. And I think that's one thing people have to understand. It's like a lot of it is just waiting. A lot of it is your hair looking frizzy. A lot of it is just feeling or looking in the mirror and being like, what's, is anything happening and just kind of just being steady on the course and continuing on so yeah that's it let's sit back and talk about it all right so uh, that's pretty much it I mean there isn't really again much difference from my four month lock to my five month lock video uh, the main thing really is I guess the one thing that we can talk about is just I'll go starting into my routines so as far as moisturization and oiling goes same thing, I go in with my rose water to kind of moisturize the hair uh, every other day. I'll follow that up with my, my grapeseed oil, my peppermint, and my tea tree combination just to kind of seal in that moisture. So I do that process every other day. 
just to kind of make sure that my hair stays moist. Uh, right now in Toronto, it's cold outside, so there are times where I'll do it back-to-back -back days if I just notice that my scalp is feeling dry. As far as my wash routine, so the one thing I'll say about my wash routine is I'm at a point now where I'm kind of trying to mix things up a little bit. So what I actually did a few weeks back was, I, I, so what I used to do, so I would have two shampoos that I would use. One would basically help to fortify the hair uh, essentially making the hair stronger, if you will. And the second one was a sealant to kind of help to seal in the moisture, seal in those nutrients that we've just put into the hair, and overall help to clarify the hair, if you will. So, you know, kind of stripping anything that's left over uh, on the hair. So I would go in with those two. And what I did was I stopped using the second one just to kind of see how my hair would react to it. And I did that for about two weeks, and I noticed that my hair was a little bit drier. I ended up actually oiling my hair pretty much every day that week. So I went back to using that second that second shampoo. And I guess I'm saying that just to say that I'm at a point now at the five month mark where I am trying different things just to see what's better for my hair, how my hair is gonna respond. And I think prior to this stage, I was very reluctant to do that just because it's like, I don't wanna mess it up, I don't wanna, you know, but really when it comes to shampoos and, and oils and just moisturization in general, you really can't mess your hair up too much unless you're obviously doing it too much or not doing it enough, but it's okay to kind of try different things at this point to see what's the best case scenario for your hair. The one thing I will say though is, if you do have a formula that you find is working for your hair, stick to it, right? That, that's the main thing I would say. So for me, I go in with my two shampoos, I go in once a week, since I do have interlocks, it's easier for me to maintain the parted sections because they are interlocked and not comb coiled. So yeah, I, I find that that's been working for me really well. And as far as my moisturization routine goes, I've been sticking with my grapeseed oil, my peppermint oil, and my tea tree. That's what works, that's what I'm gonna stick with. And I guess the last thing that I'll go into really is just the kind of the emotional, mental side of things that you know you kind of deal with in this stage. And you know, the one thing I guess is at five months locked, I find that I'm going through a thing where it's, it's, it's a little different. Like on one hand, I'm just very chill about it. I'm going about my day-to-day -day routine, not really thinking about it or it's not as stressful as it once was in terms of like making sure everything's perfect. But at the same time, I'll have moments where I'm just like, okay, like it's been almost six months and like I'm really not. So you just kind of get impatient with the process at times. And I, to me, I feel like that's always going to be a thing in a way, right? Or until I get to that point where I feel like it's matured, maybe I'll always kind of have that battle back and forth, right? And I think also you just kind of want to see length. Like, especially for me, someone who, you know, I started my locks really short. I'm at a point where I'm kind of like, I just have days where I'm like, I just want to see more length. Or I have days where I want to see more maturity in my hair. And then I'll be like, bro, relax, calm down. It's fine. It's getting there. Then I'll have days where I'm like, what? Buds are getting hurt. So it's just, it's just, there still is that mental battle that you go through and, and it's a part of the process. And the next thing I would say really is just, is just, Staying humble in the process, you know? It's funny because I, I think back to when I first started, so obviously day one of getting my locks in. And yes, I know I'm only five months in, I'm still a baby, but day one, what I thought compared to what I've been going through now are totally different. Like when I started, I thought I'd start with the cone claw method. I thought I was gonna be locked in less than two months. I thought my hair was super coily. Come to find out that interlock method is actually what works better for me. That I'm five months in and my hair is still not locked and a lot of the products that I'm using, I never thought I'd have to use. I thought I was gonna be using like black castor oil for, for my hair oil, but to come to find out, that's too thick for my hair. So I guess you just really have to be humble throughout the process, and as lame as it might sound, you really have to listen to your hair and your scalp and do what it needs, because if you just kind of go in doing what you think you have to do, yeah, you'll be humbled very quickly. Uh, you know, I, I, if you want to go back and see my initial video where I talked about my start, the start of my journey, you know, I did comb coils twice before I put in my interlocks and they came out both times. Why did I do that second time? Because I was being an idiot. And I was like, no, I'm just gonna do it again because in my mind, I thought I was gonna get comb coils, so I have to get comb coils. And my hair said, nah, bruh, we're doing interlocks. So the whole process is very humbling and it goes back to what I've talked about in previous videos of just this process is going to be a humbling experience that not only is going to be humbling just for the hair itself and obviously the process of that, but you know, these are traits and skill sets that you're going to learn and develop for life, right? Being patient, learning resilience, being accepting of things that are out of your control. And 
you know, it's just kind of a, a, a big benefit that I like to be happy about that I'm dealing with. But obviously there's moments where you're kind of like, man, like this is annoying, right? So, so yeah, those are just a few things that I would say I'm dealing with emotionally, mentally right now type of thing. But other than that, five months or four months to five months for me, somebody who has 2C to 3C type hair with interlocks, not much change. And you know, I've really kind of gone down a rabbit hole again lately of like looking at different lock journeys and stuff like that. And obviously when you do that, you kind of want to take it with a grain of salt because everyone's lock journey is different. But a lot of lockers, I'm just seeing a lot of them saying their hair didn't lock fully until they were like a year and a half in or two years in. So I'm kind of now being like, why the heck did I think two months and I was going to be, you know, uh, impatient. Yeah, so just being humble is very important, very crucial, and something that if you don't practice being humble, yeah, you're gonna have a rude awakening, and you're gonna have a hard time on this journey. So yeah, hope that helps. If you have any pointers for me, or any tips for me, or any thoughts on this video, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with a friend who might be going through the same thing, like the video, and uh, yeah, I'm coming to you guys with another one next week as always and hopefully the six month lock actually for my six month lock video i'll probably have a new fresh set of interlocks i'm probably gonna go for a retightening so it'll look a lot fresher hopefully i'll have more updates for you in terms of you being able to see the hair a little bit better because this is basically like this is just a bush with like sticks coming out of it you know anyway keep it locked stay locked uh kojo locks signing out peace and love y'all